Hey, it's Eric here. I invite you to follow along as I walk through how to use the Creative Computing Online Workshop website. So first things first, we need to make sure we're on the right website, and that is creative-computing.appspot.com, and you'll need to go ahead and log in with a Google account. So I'll go ahead and log in with mine really quick. So once we've gone ahead and logged in, um, we'll go ahead and register for an account. So this takes just a few minutes, so we'll go ahead, hit the big old register button, and we'll have to fill out a few questions about us so the Scratch facilitation team has a better sense of who we are. So I'll go ahead and do that really quick. So once we've gone ahead and provide this information, go ahead and hit the Enroll button. So we'll be taken to this page where we have a few simple instructions to follow to finish up the registration. One is following this link to participate in community discussions and register at the web forum. So all you have to do is click this link and go ahead and click this button to go ahead and join uh, our group to post. So that will enable you to post. And then you'll have to go ahead and create a Scratch online community account. So this is your Scratch account on the Scratch website. I'll go ahead and show you how to do this. So just go scratch.mit.edu and go ahead and hit join Scratch. And this will be your Scratch account where you'll create all your projects and have them stored. Okay, and then finally we have some instructions here uh, on how to jump into the activities. So that is that. So we'll go ahead and jump back now into the home page. And then front and center here, you will see your workshop schedule. Now, this is going to be your go-to for the activities, for the office hours, and for submitting your design notebooks for that week. So right now, we are in week one. So the only links active right now are, well, for week one. So we can go ahead and dive into the first link here, which are week one activities. So these are going to be your assignments. So we go ahead, click this, and we're taken to an overview page. Now this overview page is essentially, well, an overview of the activities for that week. So if we go ahead and watch this brief video, it will be Karen explaining what we're going to be covering in week one. Now if we want to jump to a certain spot in the video or reference, come back and reference to a certain spot, we, we can just go to this time code here. This is all laid out. And then just jump to that in the YouTube video. So also, if something is being referenced within the video, for instance, a reading, they'll be linked down here in the references. So that is your overview. So once you've viewed the overview, you'll have a better sense of the activities that we're going to be covering that week. So for instance, we have the About Me activity. So we can go ahead, click that, and we'll be taken to the About Me overview page. So essentially, this is going to be uh, a text description here of the activity. And then if we want, we can go ahead and watch this brief video where Michelle will explain the activity and briefly show a few examples. And then below it, we will have the checklist for the activity. So these are your instructions, um, how to share your, your project, and how to give feedback in someone's design notebook, and what you should write in, in your design notebook. So if you're looking for additional guidance on this activity, Specifically, we can go ahead and watch one of these two videos or both videos if you choose. And these are walkthroughs by myself and MJ where we walk through how we created our version of this project. And if, you're, if you really want more resources too, we have here at your fingertips three other um, great resources, which one is a link to a discussion board. And this is the discussion board specifically for this activity. So this will, if you click this link, you can go ahead and post questions um, about the activity. Down here we have the nuts and bolts videos. So these are essentially short videos, five to eight minutes in length that go over some of the concepts in Scratch that are important to this specific project. So for instance, if you're having trouble with uh, the user interface, you can go ahead, and click this video, and it'll be MJ explaining the user interface in about five minutes. Um, and also we have sample projects that we can view. So these sample projects are projects that have been completed in the past that would be helpful um, in completing this project. You can dive in look at the code that they've used, or look at them for inspiration. So we have plenty of resources to help you complete the project. So let's go jump back to the home page, and we will check out the office hours. So this is the second and third link here. These are going to be two sessions of office hours. So we have one on Tuesday and one on Friday. So we'll go ahead and view the one from yesterday. Now office hours are essentially an opportunity for you as the community to ask the facilitation team questions. And we will be on a Google Hangout, all of the facilitation team, and you will be submitting questions via the workshop forum. So if you go ahead and here's the link for the workshop forum, you can just jump into this and ask us a question. Or if you're on Twitter, you can use the hashtag, hashtag CCOW. So essentially just type in your question in a tweet, and then at the end, throw 
hashtag CCOW, and then we will be fielding those questions live um, through a Google Hangout. So as you can see here, we've actually gone ahead and already had this session of office hours, so it's automatically in a video. So if you want to go ahead and watch this um, back or watch this for the first time after the fact, you can go ahead and watch it. But if you're watching them live, you can actually, it's pretty cool, you'll just hit play um, and it will play the live stream. So we'll go ahead, jump back to home. So we're back to the home page, and you may say, well, Eric, this looks a little bit different than the home page you showed me about a minute ago. And I'll be honest with you, we actually are updating this video because we've created a more intuitive way to submit your design notebooks. So we'll go ahead and check out the final link here for week one, and that is the submission and peer review of design notebooks. So we'll go ahead and click this link, and we are taken to the week one design notebook submission page. So first of all, what is a design notebook? And that is essentially a, a journal of sorts for you to go ahead and reflect and share your learnings. So you essentially have you know, a single design notebook that you are carrying with you for these six weeks. And each week you're gonna go ahead and submit that so other people can go ahead and look at your thoughts. So that is the concept. Now, how what does this look like? Well, it can take forms and it can take many different forms. One could be you know, a website you create. It could be a blog you keep. It could be a Google presentation. So what's important is, is two things. One, it needs to be viewable by someone with a link. So someone you know, from the public needs to be able to access this, and that, may, that might be through you know, clicking a link that you provide. Okay? And second, it needs to be able to garner some sort of feedback through a comment. So on a website, you know, if you build a website, make sure there's a comment box for you know a user to come and comment. If you're using a Google presentation, make sure you are allowing in the privacy settings people to comment uh, on your Google presentation. And to that note, um, if you are doing a Google presentation, you can go ahead and click this help page here. This link will take you to instructions and how to make your notebook available to view and comment on. So we see here, um, I've gone ahead and already shared my notebook for week one. And what I did was, I'll just show you, I, I opened up my notebook here and I went to file and then I went to share. And that gave me a link here where I could just go copy paste this link. So I just copied it. And while I'm here, I might as well show you here how to uh, change the access for your Google presentation. If you want to change um, to make it available to the public or someone with a link, you have that option here. So all I did again was I just clicked uh, who has access and then hit change then anyone with a link so if I provide someone with a link they will be able to view it and that's great so I'll choose that privacy and then as far as what they can do you can have the can comment can edit can view so can comment I'll go ahead and click that so they can comment on it and I'll go ahead and hit save so there we go we have um, all the privacy done and we have our link that I copy pasted then all I did was just, you know, I, I, this was, this was blank at one time and I just went ahead and, you know, copy pasted. So I went, you know, on a Mac, command V and it pasted. So let me show you week two, cause I haven't submitted for week two. So I'll just go ahead and show you week two. I can go ahead, same exact page. I'm going to submit my same notebook here because I've already updated it for week two. Let me just paste the link as simple as that. Okay. And then I go ahead and hit submit design notebook. So good. I shared it. Great. So now I go back to the home page and I can see I get a little dot here that signifies that it has been submitted. And I can go ahead and view other people's notebooks here. So you see we have 55 other notebooks here to check out. All we have to do is click that link and we will be sent um, to another person's design notebook where we can comment and leave feedback. I encourage you to review at least one design notebook, but feel free to comment uh, on more than one if you so choose. So let's go ahead and jump back to the home. And we see that we've covered all the links that we need um, for the workshop schedule. So we will go ahead and talk about some of these other links really quick. So we see announcements. So we can go ahead, check out announcements for some of the news that's happening in the course. So if there's any changes, go ahead. They'll probably be posted here in the announcements. So we see the changes to design notebook was just recently posted. Uh, we can check out the forum, which is essentially a message board for our Creative Computing Online Workshop. And this is going to be uh, broken up into sort, sort of subcategories here. So we see workshop-wide discussions. So these are discussions that really don't fit into the activities. 
um, but rather, you know, more general. So we have, you know, workshop questions, uh, miscellaneous discussions. Uh, we have a forum specific for each week. So if you have questions or discussions about activities, go ahead, dive into one of these. And then we have office hours. So again, if you want to submit questions for an office hours that you know coming up here, just go ahead, click that link, and you would be given um, you know that thread uh, where you just post your question. We have special interest group, which are new as well. So special interest groups um, are a way for teachers to connect with uh, other teachers. So whether that be by grade level or interest, it's all here. So for instance, if you're interested in elementary and young learners in the classroom setting, uh, just go ahead, click here, and collaborate uh, on ideas and just share um, what you're interested in. And finally, we have you know the week two discussions here. So as you're working and you have a question, or you want to just discuss something, go ahead and dive in there. And we'll do that really quick just to show what that might look like. So week two reading discussions, for instance. We'll click in here. And we're taken to a number of different topics here that are related to week two discussions. Whoops, so I just clicked one. So yeah, I clicked one here. We can see that we have a nice conversation going on here. And if we want to add, we can just go ahead and hit post reply and we'll reply to this discussion. So that is cool. I encourage you to use the message boards and uh, really you know, leverage your connectivity here with your classmates. Uh, and, and finally, we have a couple more tabs here, so frequently asked questions, so maybe something that wasn't covered in this video, or just a burning question you may have that's sort of general, it's probably covered here in the frequently asked questions. Um, and, and finally, we have the, 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 the Scratch uh, Creative Computing Online Workshop team, so you can read more about us and, and you know, look for us uh, posting on the message boards or look out for us in office hours. So if you don't want to learn more, please feel free to read through our bios. Uh, and finally, we have the My Profile, which is going to give you an update uh, on your submissions uh, for your design notebook. So we can see week two has been submitted, so we have you know a 100% there, good to go. Um, and also, if you want to change your name, you have that option here, too, to change names. So all pretty cool. That was your crash course into the Creative Computing Online Workshop. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the forum. Uh, I suggest posting them in the workshop-wide discussions and go to general workshop questions and suggestions. Also, please feel free to reach out to us during office hours to get your question asked live. So I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to working with you all here in the upcoming weeks. Uh, enjoy.